This is Top 3 of the 2023 Bassmaster Elite Series. The Marathon Bassmaster Elite at Lake Murray. Alright guys, stop three here at Lake Murray. Today's day one. We uh, had about a month off. Kind of excited to get back out there. Practice has been a little grimy for me, but I've seen some signs of what's here. Caught a great big one, like a seven pounder the other day. So uh, today is just all about making good decisions on the water, making the most of my day, capitalizing on the bites I get, and just catching as much as I can and see where that puts us. Always we're excited to, to get out there and see what the day brings. Practice, you know, is about covering water and things like that. Today is about catching them. So we we'll go catch them. His second season on the Bassmaster Elite Series, a former Bassmaster Open winner from Manic, Louisiana, Daryl Gleason. Got him. Stay on there. Feels like a good one. Stay on there. You can go out there if you want to, buddy. Oh, yeah. Good keeper. Oh, bigger than I thought. <laughs> yes. Yes. Come on, stay on. Whatever you are, just get in here, please. Don't go real big. Right now. Keep her, I think. Yep. Let's do this the easy way here, boy. Thank you. You ain't as big as I thought you were, but I'm so dang up, man. 
Send them out to you. Send them out. Why can't they all be babies? We got five babies. Okay. All right. No more dancing on that, all right? Big to y'all, boys and girls. Those are big to me. I think that might be a helper. Come on. Get in here. Yes. Yes. And the mouth. Yes. Yes. That big one. Yeah. Nice. That was huge in the mouth. Nice. Needed that bad, dude. It's not a giant, but I'm throwing back a two and a half pounder, so. There's one. That's a good one. Oh my God. Giant. Stay on, please stay on. Oh, don't jump. Oh, God. Oh, my God. What a horse. Oh, please stay on. Just play on, get tired. You just get tired. Please. What a freaking monster. Stay on. It's like a six pounder. Get tired. Yes. Oh God, what a fish. Let's bring out a Bassmaster Open winner from Manny, Louisiana, Daryl Gleason. Oh, steady walk up here is fine. Five fish here today, a good day, looks like things. You gotta be happy. I am, why'd you act so shocked? I know, because you, I mean, you think you put 21 pounds even, and in seventh place, 
You think you'd be in much more of a hurry to get up here. 21 pounds even, and the Bassmaster Open winner, Daryl Gleason, is inside the top 10. All right, guys, we're about to get started day two. Day one was a blast. At the end of the day, the weight was good, but it was a grind of a day. So I know today's gonna be the same way. I just gotta go figure them out and run around like a maniac and pray it comes together. So top 50 make the cut to day three. So that's really the ultimate goal today is top 50. We'd love to go blast them again, but the main thing, day three is where we wanna be. Please grow up. He feels little. I ain't seen him good yet. I think he's just a keeper. Oh, God. Oh, oh he ain't gonna keep, I don't think, dude. Maybe. Eh, maybe. He's, he, he's measurable. First one took my tail. That sucker ate it with no tail. Dad gun 15 inch here. Woo! <laughs> We're on the board. <laughs> we don't suck. I mean, we do, but not as bad as we did prior. It's a keeper, I think. Job dodging. We got three of them little suckers. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I got, got him. I got right in there on that one. That little guy. He's not in the keep, I don't think. Well, he's going to keep. They aren't much. But. Sign of life, son. Now I just need a 10 pounder and we're in the cut. You see how easy this is? <laughs> I call a lot of 10 pounders in my life. I can go do that real fast. Here, if you're getting bites, I want to be a big one in a second. About a pound and a half on that one. Okay. Me. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Stay on. Not a big one, but two pounder. He had buddies, too. Yeah, I'll stay out of there. Yesterday, if I found them locked up, I got a chance at them eventually. But it's, uh, I'm struggling on judging the size because they're, they're all at least three foot down. That one's swimming around with it. Oh, he's a rat. He'll call. I think he'll call. That do for you? Yes, sir. Good. I flipped in there and was waiting for him to swim back to the bed and he had it swimming around. I think he'll call. One of them little skinny suckers. He'll help a little. Get rid of a scrawny one. Good 
Oh, oh man, that looks like a better fit. Oh, man, you kidding me? Better fish, brother. What are you talking about? In the mouth. Oh, yes, sir. Woo! Nice. I told you yesterday oh, I was small eye the hell out of. In the mouth, huh? Yes, sir. Three pounder, huh? <laughs> Way to go. Way to go, mm. man. I think he's three. I'll weigh him and see real fast. Yeah, he's three. Mm -hmm. Got her. Got her? You yep. have her? Yes. Stay on there, please. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, break your wheel, girl. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on, come on. Yes! Y'all, yes! good luck, man. Two days in a row. Got her? Mouth? Yep, 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 yep. Look good. Way to go, Woo! man. Way to go. 4.01. <laughs> Big enough I look at him, but I don't think he helps. He's in the mouth. Okay, you see it. I don't think he helps. Got it? Yes, sir. He shouldn't help. But we're going to capture him for a minute. Either way, still a 13 year old. Be a little helper. Come on, B. Daryl Gleason, five here on day number two. 12 pounds, 10 ounces with 33 pounds, 10 ounces. That one hurts. Yeah, it's gonna sting. Uh, you take it on the chin, dude. Yesterday could have been bad too. I made some really good moves yesterday and got some blessed bites. Uh, or this could have been a really bad event for me. So. Dude, you don't have time to cry in this game. We got another uh, tournament start next week. So, uh, you know, we'll regroup and be ready to go. Well, it's great to have you here. Always a great attitude. We look forward to seeing the next one. All right, so that's a wrap at Lake Murray. Didn't have a good day today as far as results, but very grateful for how yesterday went. Had a couple special moments that really made yesterday like one of those highlights. Man, today is tough to swallow. You know, big picture. It was a, another solid week for us. It still wasn't my breakthrough that I'm looking for, that we're working for so hard. But, you know, even today I grinded out and did some, some things to, you know, make it better than it was. And so, you know, if we keep doing that, it's gonna work out, so. I think you told me, like, you felt like today you were behind people. Like you felt like everything oh, you tried today, you it's, were behind people. So something I thought yesterday was I went to like places I saw bed fish in practice. And I went three or four hours out catching these. It's because I was behind people. People are catching on, people are doing that. Today, um, you know, yesterday afternoon, I went to an area and there really wasn't any people and I caught some fish and left them, like a few there. And so I thought today would go pretty smooth. And of course, it didn't. I got down there and there was, you know, some, some other people in the area fishing. And that's just how hard this is. Like these guys don't leave a stone unturned. Like it's just hard to describe the competition. They literally find everything I find every time. And uh, so anyways, a few of the guys down there with me, you know, caught some of the bed fish that I was looking for. and. I just never found any new ones. So, like, no regrets or anything. Like, you know, I'm battling hard. I know the results aren't showing how hard I'm fighting right now, but if I was giving up, the results would show that. We're going to work on some tackle tomorrow and get ready for Santee Cooper. Practice starts Monday. 
So uh, there's absolutely very little time on earth to worry about, you know, having a bad day. In the grand scheme, good week. I love my job, even on the bad days. And I know I'm blessed to have uh, so many people keeping up with us and following us. And we're going to get it. I promise. And it's his birthday next week. Why did you perk up? It's his birthday. He knows we're having homemade ice cream for my birthday. That's all he wants is homemade ice cream. Homemade ice cream. And to fish on Saturday of next week. <laughs> That's the dream. You were close. All right. We're close. That's a wrap. Happy birthday, Daryl. Uh, how old are you? 41. 41.